Hi guys, this is Dan Giles here with Let's Fix It. And I've got a little something for you that uh, you're not going to find a whole lot on YouTube or any other video source that you might have. The new Frigidaire refrigerator. If you have an ice maker issue, first of all, this is the brand new model Frigidaire refrigerator that they came out with this year. And as you can see, there's no handle, but they do have these little cutout sections right here for the refrigerator and the freezer door on this stainless steel model. Now this is not a cheap refrigerator, not by any means, but because they kept having issues with handles, then they decided to go with a refrigerator door without handles. I'm not really a fan of it, but there you go. But in changing the handles, they also did something else. I want to go through the steps on how to remove this ice maker from this refrigerator and show you all the little tricky details because everything has to clip and snap and unscrew and it's just all kind of crazy stuff that will drive you nuts if you don't know what you're looking for. So here goes. First thing we're going to do is we got to take this bucket out of the place and it just slides out. That's not a big deal. Now you'll see this cover right here covering up the ice maker. And you're going to figure out, what in the world's going on here? How do I get that out? Well, that's kind of easy as well. There's a little tab right here. Just kind of put your screwdriver on that. And that just pushes it down a little bit where it will release it from one of these little posts that are on the roof of this freezer. So now we got that cover off. And here's Frigidaire's little surprise of an, I don't know what they call it, an upgrade, or I'm thinking the mold ice makers were a lot better in the day, but they decided to go back to a flex tray ice maker. Insanity. Total insanity. So I'm going to show you how to get this ice maker out of here so that you can replace it or do whatever it is you need to do. Maybe take the back wall off. You got to get the ice maker out of the way. So there's a little trick to this. All right, if we can focus in on the top of this ice maker, right back here, grab a screwdriver here. You'll see right back here where this, there's a post that holds this ice maker here and here. And in order to get this out, there's a little keeper right here, a little plastic spring-like, spring-loaded piece of plastic that's sitting in front. It's going to be hard. When I get this out, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But what you need to do is that little spring put your screwdriver in behind it. push it out, kind of pry it out a little bit so that it gets out of the way of that retainer. And just push the ice, pull the ice maker forward. And it will come loose. Now you got this harness here with this little plug back here. So we'll get the ice maker out of the way. All right, so now we're zoomed in on the, the harness that plugs into the back wall, and you'll have to have a flathead screwdriver to go in here and push down ever so gently. There's kind of like three tabs inside of this that you'll need to push down. So I do know that 30 or so years ago, I can't remember what exactly the manufacturer, or who that manufacturer was, but they had an ice maker that had this kind of a plastic mold tray. And I remember replacing these things very often because the problem that you have with these this plastic is that water gets in there and it eats away the lining of that of this of this tray. And over time that lining goes away and the ice cubes start to stick. I remember that being a problem back in that day. Why Frigidaire came out with this design now, I don't know. I think the old mold style that was actually encased in a, 
uh, like a pewter base or whatever the ice makers were made out of with a heater going across the bottom of it was definitely a lot better design in my book than going with a plastic flex tray that when this thing turns it actually twists it like one's going right one's going left just like the old the, the old ice trays that you used to keep in your freezer you pull it out and you twist it to break all the ice loose from the mold that's basically what this new ice maker is doing uh, I'm not a fan not a fan at all uh, I mean this thing probably weighs all of not even a pound there's not a whole lot of substance to it but that's what Frigidaire is doing I mean they've made some changes that I don't know are really for the good uh, another issue that I'm having with these refrigerators that if if the freezer section is not below 10 degrees you're not gonna get ice that's just not gonna make ice so you know that's a problem with it as well uh, it's even going into dispenser models where in double door refrigerators the the housing around the ice maker is a whole lot more elaborate than what I just showed you on the disconnection of ours, or this one. But the ice maker is the same. I guess it's going to be, remains to be seen how good it is. The, your water tube from the back of the refrigerator comes in and rests right there. Releases water into it, and it has a little, little swimming pool slide way down to fill up that tray. What an amazing, amazing piece of I don't know what. I'm going to go ahead and put this ice maker back in place and I'll show you all the steps of how I'm going to do that. All right, so here's the retainer here and here that the ice maker has to line up to. And you see it slips into this, this part of the ice maker and this side of it has a little keyway that goes in here and slides in and locks it into place there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug the harness back in. And that's just going to snap in place, just like so. Now what you need to do is to make sure that you get that tube under the fill section of the ice maker. A little excerpt I just found on the internet about the flex tray ice maker I was telling you about. There's a little break in the, in the episode here. Um, and I'll put a picture of the ice maker right here, the old Whirlpool Flex Tray. It says, the Whirlpool Flex Tray Ice Maker gets its name from the way it makes ice. Yeah, well, from a flex tray. Uh, it basically puts water into a plastic ice cube tray, freezes it, tips it upside down, and twists and dumps the cubes into a bin. Much the same way you would do with the old manual type ice trays. But here's the interesting part of this. Whirlpool put most of its ice makers in Sears Kenmore refrigerators in the 70s. So I said 30-something years ago. Uh, they were eventually replaced by the more reliable compact ice makers, but not before thousands of them were produced. Uh, and there's many survivors out there that they're still having issues with. The biggest is, like I said, the water corroding that plastic liner and making the ice stick to the tray. And then once it wants to once it tries to twist it out, it won't release. So then it goes back to normal position. Water fills back into it. Then you get the overflow. Eventually you get a freezer that's just nothing but a block of ice because the tray itself wouldn't release any cubes. So there was nowhere for the water to go except in the freezer section. Freezes on top of freezing on top of freezing. You get the picture. So anyway, they replaced the ice maker with a more reliable ice maker after many years of trial and error. So why Frigidaire would go back to that, I don't know. All right, so back to the video. So that it definitely doesn't leak water and stuff all over your, your refrigerator. So you're gonna go ahead and line up everything. Snap it into place and then just slide that ice maker right back in till it clicks. You see that little clip right there that holds this ice maker in now. And that's really simple because it's three sides. So that's your bot your top, which is the bottom of this. It's gonna line up to the three post. And you're just gonna snap that into place. And of course. 
course, your bucket. It slides underneath this lip, and everything is sealed in place. So that's the new Frigidaire refrigerator and freezer issues that I'm not really happy with. I don't think that uh, going backwards on an ice maker style is actually the way to go with this. Those flex trays are not reliable. Uh, I, I think in less than a year you're going to start having issues with them. That's just my thoughts. And I'm just going back on what memory serves me on what we had to go through back in the day with the old flex tray ice makers. So that's it guys. Frigidaire ice maker. The brand new system that they've started using. Not really wild about it, but what are you going to do? The manufacturers do what they're going to do regardless of what you say. So what I've got here is the new Frigidaire ice maker. What comes in the box, I'll show you. That piece that covers the front of the ice maker it just has those three clips or studs on this on the roof of the freezer that hold this in place don't forget when you take this out you got to stick a flathead screwdriver in here just to pull that tab in a little bit enough to where you can slide it past the post top or the post the head of the post so that's the new one there this is the sidewall piece that the ice maker slides into. This is for a refrigerator that didn't come with an ice maker, so you would need all these pieces to install that. Uh, that's part of the kit as well. Get the water valve and the water tubing. Set that aside for a second. That's the new ice bucket. Get that. It's like I said, if you have a refrigerator that you bought without that ice maker, you would need all this stuff. And then the last thing that came in the box was the actual ice maker itself. And I want to pull this down to show you a few items on here. This is the little tab right here that when you go to pull this ice maker out, you want to pull this forward. And then the other side of it, it's just got a little keyway where the, the stud goes in here and when it's mounted in place, it just slides forward into that little notch right there. So the whole thing just notches into place. The only thing holding it in place is that keep right here. And like I said, you'll pull that forward to get past the post. And then the ice maker will slide out enough to where you can pull it on out. This plug has got this little piece right here that holds it in. So you'll have to get a screwdriver inside of here to go across those that tab so that this pushes in so it releases off of the back side of this and you're able to unplug it from there. So that's Frigidaire's ice maker. Brand spanking new out of the box. That's the head of it right there that's you can see it's not very big. Not very big at all. My cell phone's as big as the head on that ice maker. So and my, actually, I think my cell phone weighs as much as this ice maker does. So that's Frigidaire's new refrigerator and the new Flex Tray ice maker that, know what I know from years past, I'm still not a fan of that Flex Tray. People have had issues with it forever. So be sure to leave me a thumbs up if this video has helped you and leave me a comment down below if you've got this ice maker in your refrigerator, uh, if you like it. If you don't like it, let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to the channel. You never know what's coming up that might help you in the future. Subscribe and be sure to hit that little bell so that you're notified on my next video when it drops. Until then, guys, be kind to each other. This is Dan Giles, and I'll see you in the next video.